Hello YouTube, I will be talking about how to light your planet tank and how not to light your planet tank. First of all, you must stop using the watts per gallon rule and I will tell you why. Let's say um, you have a 10 gallon tank that's um, 12 inches deep and then you have a tank that's, um, you know, for example, 13 in in inches deep. Um, what would happen is that the light loses intensity as the water um, gets deeper. So you can really use watts per gallon. Um, another another reason it's because um, things that make a difference in terms of lightning is um, the reflectors and the bulbs as well, and as well as the ballast. And um, if you really want to know how to light your planet tank, first of all, you must look into something called PAR, and what PAR st stands for, it's um, photoactive, uh, fuck, I forgot what it stands for, but the point is that, okay, so when it comes to PAR, there are a lot of companies who release this certain information on the PAR values, um, and typically you want to figure out um, w how much PAR your fixture p puts around the bottom of the substrate. and. Um, thing is when it comes to um, lighting a planet tank everyone has different needs for example um, somebody may want a low tech planet tank medium light and high light but how do we de define what those things mean when everybody keeps giving it um, different meaning well the consens consensus on different forums agreed that low light is anywhere from 20 to 30 par at the substrate and if you want to aim for medium light um you should probably aim anywhere from i would say 38 to uh 48 or 50 par and for highlight you should aim somewhere from um 60 and higher uh, as far as par goes and there are some tanks with extremely highlight that get at the substrate somewhere around like 150 par but in my opinion that's Unnecessary with like 40 par at the substrate you could grow about anything. So Let me talk a little bit about the par values this Phoenix future rate 20 inch planet plus puts out on my tank at the substrate in the middle I get around 43 par and on the sides. I get maybe like around 30 35 and 28 on the corners and right here more on top. I get like around 40 or 45 so if you really want to base your lighting based on par, um, I will provide on my description a link to a Phoenix fixture so you could see the par charts. And there are also um, other fixtures that provide par. Some of them is the current USA Planet Plus LED lights. And um, there's also par for um, build my LED lights, which are really good. So now that we talked about PAR, I will give some suggestions about how to light your tank with T5 HOs. I don't have PAR data for every single T5 HO, but generally if you have a tank that's about eight, 18 inches deep, you might want to use perhaps two bulbs and for uh, a high light planet tank you might want to use four. So why does watts per gallon work for a lot of people? Well that's because... Um, First of all, they have enough ferts in the tank and enough carbon dioxide. So as long as you have those things in your tank, your tank will be fine and you'll be good. So one more thing I want to talk about, um, just make sure you have in your tank um, adequate CO2 and nutrients. One way you could um, provide CO2 in your tank, so many methods. The easiest way, in my opinion, it's um, using um, Seekim XL and as far as um, Dose in my tank. I use um, a modif I use estimative index, but I dose a lot less than the recommended. And uh, you know, personally, I would advise to um, just dirt your tank. Right here, I have one inch of organic choice potting mix and one inch of gravel. Um, so if you guys have a question about how to use soil on your tank, let me know, and um, I'll probably make a YouTube tutorial on that. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'm sorry if. Um, I suck at explaining things at a fast pace, but uh, obviously I'm not used to recording videos, but I hope you have found this information useful.